Good morning, good evening, whenever you're watching this, and welcome back to Terran Plays Persona 5 Royal. So in the last episode, we heard from Kawakami that Kamoshida has not been coming to school recently. So, uh, <laughs> maybe the change of heart works, but we'll have to see what happens from that. So for right now, Ryuji is available, so let's spend time with him. What are you doing right now? Just having to wait doesn't jive with me. I'm still hanging out in the hallway. Let me know if something comes up. Seems Ryuji hasn't gone home yet. Wanna hang out with him for a bit? Got it. Oh, hey. Be kind of she didn't know, but I'm still feeling kind of nervous. I guess we just gotta wait and see what happens. Hey. What do you think about training a bit? We're gonna get rusty if we don't keep ourselves active. I feel like I can become closer with Ryuji thanks to the chariot persona slime. I don't think my bond with Ryuji will deepen just yet. We won't rank up, but we will get points towards his confidant. Wanna get going? Ryuji seems satisfied. I think he had a pretty fulfilling workout. I feel like my bond with Ryuji will grow stronger soon. See ya! Ah, you're back. Okay. Leave tonight? We have a new crossword puzzle. Hey, hey! So let's play a little. Hanami. Cherry blank viewing. Oh, let's blossom. Known as flower watching in English, Hanami is an old Japanese tradition for viewing the cherry blossoms and enjoying the arrival of spring. The flower mentioned in traditional Japanese poetry actually refers to the plum flower. It's said that cherry blossoms overtook the usage during the Heian period. All right. I see. Nice. Get that extra point of knowledge. And we're gonna spend time with boss tonight. Mm -hmm. You finally interested in coffee brewing? If you'll help, I can teach you. Yeah. Then you clean up. I'm going to finish preparing the curry. All right, then. That's it for tomorrow's curry. Hey, how's it going? You getting it many better at remembering how to handle different bean types? Yeah. Now then, there are three factors that determine the flavor for a cup of coffee. Grind, heat, and time. First up is the grind. For the siphons we have here, we're aiming for medium fine. Are you listening to me? What grind are you supposed to use? Medium fine. Right. Keep up the good work. It doesn't net much profit given the effort it takes, but hey, money is money. I'm not gonna forgive you if you serve our customers crap coffee, though. Just remember that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who could this be? Yes, hello? <laughs> How'd you get this number? Now? Where? Fine. 
Sorry. Something just came up. We can keep going with the lessons some other time. Is it trouble? Cool. You worried about me? It's nothing you need to concern yourself over. Just do the dishes while I'm gone. Oh, and remember to shut off the gas when you close up shop. It's nice having someone around to help at times like this. Turns out you're actually a harder worker than I thought. Keep it up. Hierophant rank 3. Alright. The rest is on you. Don't eat all our food while I'm gone. Hey, you get everything closed up? Sorry about earlier. Had to take care of some business. But don't worry, I'll put you to work. We've got lots of time on our hands. Well, I'm ready to work. Raring to go, huh? Some work ethic you got there. Well, just make sure you turn off the stove before you head to bed. change of heart for real, didn't he? It's kind of hard to believe right now. I'm gonna cry if we still get expelled after all this. Let's believe and wait. Whoa! You're so calm, man. Aren't you worried at all? Oh yeah, you free today? If you got nothing to do, come see me after school. It's not like I got something to say, but I find talking helps calm my nerves. Waiting seems kind of boring. How about we hit the batting cage? There's one right by the supermarket in Yongin, right? Hey! Your phone was buzzing. Be sure to check it, okay? We got a couple of people that want to hang out with us today. So, Takami wants to spend time with us, but, uh... I don't know. We'll spend time with, a uh, Ryuji today. I kinda wanna talk today. Well, before I gotta unload all this crap off my chest. Why don't we grow some, grab some ramen? You know, shake things up. I'll take you over to our special shop I know. It's kinda far, but the flavor's killer. Get pumped, dude! over in Okikubo, so let's grab a train over there. We've unlocked a little, uh, a little spot to hang out at. All right. We now have information on a new hangout spot, Okikubo Ramen. You can also invite people who may enjoy eating ramen to hang out with you there. Making use of hangout spots. There are a number of hangout spots in the city, such as shops, event venues, landmarks, and so on. Confidants will each have their own favorite hangout spot. If you go there with them, your bond will grow even deeper than it normally would. You can learn about hangout spots by having confidants invite you there, or by reading about them in books. Try to find as many as you can. Be sure to unlock all of them by the end of the game. Love the feeling of noodles sliding down my throat, sweat dripping over my face. This shit's the best, man. Ramen is life. Looking soup like this really gets your body going after a good run, you know? We used to come all the way out here after practicing. Uh, I guess that's all in the past. <sighs> By the way, I've seen Nakaoka around a few times. 
but for some reason it don't look like he's getting along with the others. Are you worried about him? Yeah, kinda. <sighs> I've been thinking about what he said. How the whole tri-team was putting up with Kamashita's shit. And how I had fed all love for them. I think he was right. They don't even got a club room anymore, so they've been storing all their stuff behind the gym. And they can't use any school gear either, so they just run laps around the block for practice. There ain't really a place for outcasts like that. I should know that better than anyone. It's good they're keeping their heads low now, though. I don't want them ended up like me. What do you mean? You're doing great. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I guess now that I'm thinking about it, trying to fit in is a real pain in the ass. I mean, I'd never have met you guys if I wasn't an outcast, right? So, uh, it's all good. <laughs> For real, though, it's been a shit ton of fun. Hanging out with you guys is so freaking cool. Chariot Rank 4. Stealth Dash. Makes you less likely to be found in the metaverse while dashing. Alright. So we have confidant abilities that are exclusive to Royal now. Hmm. I just hope there's something I can do to help those track guys. Though I'd probably mess them up if I tried to butt in. Oh yeah, we still gotta find a new spot for our training. Hmm, I'll think about it. No slacking off till then, okay? <laughs> See ya! Ah, you're back. Hey there, boss. Let's hang out. You got time right now? Still some time left on the clock today. How about it? I can teach you the ropes. All right then. Put your stuff down and grab an apron. Don't forget to wash your hands. Sojiro's guidance is extremely precise. I did just as he told me. Thanks. Alright, it's Sunday yet again. No, not Sunday. What am I saying? <laughs> it's Friday. It's a it's a day off. <laughs> this it's a show a day. Golden Week is approaching. What's on TV today? Hey there! Next up is our special on the boy who's set to be the next Detective Prince. The original Detective Prince was Naoto Shiragane, but people are excited about this new one. My daughter's a big fan of the new Detective Prince. He's a sleuth in high school and so handsome. Detective Prince, huh? Hmm. Well, Takemi's available, so. Have you had any side effects since then? Passed out at all? I'd like to check you out, just in case. I don't have any patients. Could you stop by the clinic? Okay, I'll be waiting. Find the medicine from the other day a bit. Could you come to the back? Please head to the exam room. Hmm. Here you go. 
The effects should be instant this time. Hmm? Let's see. Eyes are focused. Look this way. One, two, three, four. Nothing yet, huh? <laughs> the inside of my mouth feels like it's burning. And my nose is itchy. Oh, there it is. The inhibitory effect is just as I had hoped. Your weight was the primary reason it took longer to kick in than expected. Yes, this is what I expected from a teenager. We're making great progress. Practice makes perfect, right? Okay, hold tight. Once I compile all the data, we can move on. Hello? Takemi Medical Clinic of Internal Medicine. How can I help you? An emergency, huh? But we're not a designated hospital. Besides, the head physician here is Tai Takemi. Huh. Awfully rude, just hanging up on a lady like that. What was that about? Oh, he basically just called the wrong number. An ambulance driver was looking for a transfer location. All the designated hospitals are full. But to think they'd accidentally call a general practitioner. Must have been a new paramedic. He seemed to at least know my name, though. Hmm? I've been blacklisted by the larger medical community. They call me the Plague, due to a grave medical error I made. Medical error? This goes back to my old job. I used to work at a university hospital in the city. I was never actually convicted of anything, but I'm still considered a pariah in the medical industry. Does that scare you? Participating in clinical trials run by a doctor like that? Eh, I don't mind. I trust you. You seriously are one strange kid. Well, that's fine. Being ostracized has enabled me to focus on my own research and development. <laughs> Regardless, I look forward to working with you. I'll be sure to add some additional medicine for you, my little guinea pig. <laughs> Death Rank 3. Sterilization. Adds more healing items to the clinic. All right. Hello, Dr. Takemi Clinic of Med Internal Medicine. Huh? One order of teriyaki chicken? You're all good for today. You can go home now. Come again soon. If you're still alive. Got some more guts. Take care. Hey, my little guinea pig. I have to talk to you about something. You haven't told anyone about my drugs, right? Well, of course not. That was part of the deal. Okay. I mean, part of the deal is that you're strictly prohibited from sharing anything that happens here, so... I guess I'll believe you, for now. It feels like I've been getting a lot more patients asking for drugs lately. I wonder where they keep hearing about me. It's really bugging me. But that's all I wanted to ask, I guess. Okay, see you soon. The train stopped? Was it another one of those psychotic breakdowns? Another minister has resigned? What's going on? How stupid do you have to be to commit adultery? They must be nuts, swinging that knife around on a train. There are too many crazy people. Where are all the sane people?
Ah, you're back. Okay. I'm gonna try something a little different. Hey, why are you staring at LeBlanc's bathroom? Well, going in there to think in Royal will uh, actually let you check the progress of your uh, your social stats. But by now, we're gonna do some cleaning. All right, time to do some work for the chief. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Well then, do you want to start cleaning now? Your kindness may improve a little bit. Yes. Oh. Well, I'd certainly appreciate that. I'm going home now. Don't break anything in the store, got it? Nice. Looks pretty good. Hey, this looks pretty nice. Being in a clean environment always makes you feel good. That should do it for now. I bet the chief is gonna be happy with this. Thinking about the customers and cleaning the store probably helped to increase your kindness, no? Hey! That took longer than I expected. We should go to bed once we clean up the rest. can finish Zoro the Outlaw. Hmm? Although his opponent was a true villain, he still behaved as a perfect gentleman. Yep. So you finished reading Zoro the Outlaw. Hey, hey! Zoro was not only strong in mind and body, but he also cared gratefully for the common people. It seems you really understand the qualities that made Zoro so great. Mm -hmm. Morning. The board meeting is the day after tomorrow. I wonder if Kamoshida really had a change of heart. What if we failed? Uh, that's all I've been able to think about. Don't worry, On. We have to believe. We did do what we could. I guess all I can do now is believe. But how strange. I feel a bit better now. Maybe it's because of your composure? We'll be able to avenge Shiho, and you won't get expelled. After break, we'll all be able to laugh together. That's what I'll believe. Hi, everyone! How are you all doing? These days, you're expected to know colloquial English, even its idioms that come from other languages. I want you to forget that you're Japanese during this class and make yourself believe you're a foreigner. What's important is becoming someone else. In this day and age, being able to swap your mask depending on the situation is a critical talent. How will you fare, Mr. Amamiya? Here's a question. Let's hear it. Are you a wonderkind? See if you can work out the answer based on what you know. Um, are you a wonderkind? Well, seems to me like we need to work out what that is so we can answer properly. My German is a little rusty, but I'll give you a hand if I can. First off, the wonder part probably means... Wonder. Right, wonder. So something wondrous, I guess. Or impressive. Next, the kind part. That's probably... Child. Hmm. Let's think about this again. Uh, huh. If the kind in kindergarten refers to all the kids in it... Yeah, that's gotta be it. Kind means a child. Or at least a young guy in your case. So... There is an argument for Persona user, but... <laughs> but we're looking for 
a prodigy. This is it. That's correct. I was asking if you were a wonder child. In other words, a youth of uncommon talent. But I suppose if you were able to think and adapt so quickly, that proves you certainly must be. Oh, the word talent comes from the Greek talentum, a sum of money referenced in the Bible. The more skilled a servant was, the more coins they would receive from God. Their talent led to wealth. No way. Oh, sheesh. Sheesh. What? Nice going! You're on a roll today. The English word talent didn't originally have anything to do with our modern concept of celebrity. But the ability to change one's mask depending on the situation is surely a talent given to one by God. It's not too far off calling people who can react to things on the spot on TV talents. <laughs> the talent of changing masks. Does that make us all wonder thieves? <laughs> Swap out that book for another one. What would you like? We're going to check out the alerting dancer. Here. Hmm. Okay. Now, I'm gonna stick around here and study. tonight. Led by a mysterious figure, the Feathermen reunite. However, their memories have been stolen. Is there any way they can regain their lost memories? Revive and fight, Phoenix Rangers. Next episode, don't take three steps, you'll lose your memories. <laughs> Alright, let's make some coffee. Hey! Oh. Looks like you're starting to get interested in this. Hey, you're not trying to impress me, are you? Well, whatever. Alright, I'm heading out to buy some cigarettes. and charm. <laughs> Looks like you're at it again. How's it going? Here, I'll have a sip. Mm. This acidity. This must be Guatemalan SHB. Let me explain. Guatemalan SHB. The volcanic soil of Guatemala is ideal for growing coffee. Guatemalan beans are ranked by their altitude of cultivation. Strictly hard bean, or SHB, a grade given to coffee grown at altitudes above 4,500 feet, 
has a citrus-like acidity and a full body. <sighs> Still bland, huh? Well, I see you're preparing the cup the way I taught you. I'll acknowledge your hard work. <sighs> you see a lot of customers come through when you have a cafe like this. Even if someone looks like trouble, I'll serve them the same cup of coffee I serve everyone else. That's my job. I have pride in what I do. You're like a customer, too. One that takes a tremendous amount of effort. You have the potential, so keep training. Well then! I guess you could say it's a big day tomorrow. It'll be the... the eve of the board meeting. Mm. Well then! And... They're actually offering something special on the shopping network this Sunday. So let's... let's go check it out. Hi everyone, it's time to do some shopping. Here's what we've got for you today. Oh, so this is the shopping channel that everyone's been talking about. Using the Home Shopping Program. Items bought through the Home Shopping Program will be delivered to your door on a later date. The program airs on Sunday. There may be some items that can only be obtained exclusively through this program, so be sure to tune in often. Let's start with this. The military ration set. You can't fight on an empty stomach, so get your nutrients with this. Three Torimeshi rations, two MRE rations, and two beef fatty rations. All in one. What a deal. But wait, there's more. Next up is the muscle workout set. You'll see an enormous improvement in your training results. This set includes two proteins, Two moist proteins. I can't believe they're both in one set. What a steal. Wow, they're both such great items. I can't decide which one to get. Alright, this is a limited item. Today's the one and only day you'll be available. And of course, the price is just right. You won't see this kind of deal ever again. Oh, the funds are already ringing off the hook. Only a few remaining. Now is your final chance to buy, buy, buy. Hey, hey! Apparently the phones are ringing non-stop. If we buy one, then the other will probably be sold out before we can get it. And, uh, we're gonna snag that military ration set. Oh, another buyer has just called in. Thank you so much. Oh, they both sold out? That last customer was extraordinarily lucky. We'll try to get your order to you as quickly as possible. Goodbye for now. We'll see you again next time with another fabulous product. Goodbye for now. Well then. Now all we have to do is wait for it to arrive. It shouldn't be too long before it comes by. It is Sunday. <laughs> it actually is Sunday now, so... Let's get our Aujuru. Welcome! So this week, it's Vitality Aujuru. This is some points towards proficiency. Quite a color. I would not want to drink that. Nice chugging. That's how you do it. Nice! Today, we're gonna do something new over in Yonga. something I'd like to save our game we 
you can now quick travel to the batting cages in Yongen Jaya. Huh? Then, batting cages? In a small place like this? What's it like inside? Let's take a look. I see. So they're doing this on the rooftop. Hmm? I haven't seen you here before. In case you didn't know, the services here change depending on the time of day. Using the batting cages. Using the batting cages will cause time to pass, but you can get prizes based on your performance. Your proficiency will also improve. You will face a total of five pitches. Hitting all five pitches will get you the slugger prize. If you hit a home run, you'll get the home run prize. Activities available change according to the time of day. At night, there are no prizes, but you can swing as much as you want. Also, if you hit three home runs, you'll receive a coupon for a free daytime session. During the day, you can win prizes based on your performance. More fun than just playing normally, wouldn't you agree? At night, you can play all you want for 500 yen. If you perform well, I'll give you a ticket for a free session during the day. Well, would you like to play? Yeah, let's, uh, let's play. And, uh, we saved beforehand because I want to aim for that slugger prize. So, hopefully we can get it without uh, reloading the game too many times. Good luck! Looks like you haven't won the slugger prize or the home prize yet. Well, do your best and don't get too worked up. Batting cage controls. Adjust the angle of your bat up or down with the left stick to match the ball's expected trajectory. When the ball overlaps with its icon, press the cross button to swing the bat. Try to hit the target for a home run. Oh, hell yeah! Nice! Nice! Oh, that's a miss. <sighs> nice! Here you go. It was almost like the ball was drawn to your bat. Here you go, the home run prize. Ace cap. Oh, we still got some time left. Do you want to keep playing? Yeah, let's keep playing. Let's get that home, that uh, slugger prize. <laughs> Good luck. Looked like you've won the home run prize already. Good luck trying to go for the slugger prize as well. For a second, I had a. Uh, forgotten that we can have multiple tries on this one. But it is still smart to save beforehand. Alright. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh! Hmm. Here you go. You didn't miss a single shot. Well done. I'll give you the slugger prize. Accu Speed S. Hey, hey! We probably have time for one more round. What do you want to do? Let's go for one more. Good luck! Looks like you already won the slugger and the home run prize. The slugger prize can be won multiple times. Nice! Oof. <laughs> That's fine. <sighs> oh! Mm-hmm! <laughs> Okay. 
You didn't win the home run or slugger prize. Better look next time. Hmm. It's gotten pretty late. We should probably stop for today. Nice going! You got a really good swing. I'm impressed. And with that, we've ranked up our proficiency. All right. Your proficiency has increased from bumbling to decent. A machine we sent in for maintenance will be back in July, so we're planning to add another course to the lineup. Wanna head back? Hey! Tomorrow's the board meeting. Don't worry, I'm sure the change of heart worked. Board meetings tomorrow, right? We're gonna get expelled if Kamoshida doesn't have a change of heart by then. Well, we did what all we could. Either way, I'm not going to lose hope. You're right. It's a little too early to be giving up now. Guess we are gonna find out one way or the other tomorrow. We just gotta brace ourselves for all the possibilities. I'm sorry I can't offer more reassurance. But he should have the change of heart. Let's just believe in that while we wait for tomorrow. Hey! I know we still have the sooty armor, but we're not washing it. I'm not gonna be doing laundry for a while. Okay, so... It's Sunday night, so... Let's go have another bath. Oh! What do you want to do? Hmm. Oh, such a good bath. This is no good. Mondays are such a drag. Why couldn't they give us today off too? We have the rest of the week off starting tomorrow. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Speaking of, what's up with that calling card? The one sent to Kamoshida? Didn't it say something about stealing his distorted desires or something weird like that? Yeah, something like that. I'm sure it's just a prank. No one's taking it seriously. What's with the sudden morning assembly? Oh, I bet it's about that girl that jumped the other day. They don't have to tell us not to commit suicide. There was that weird calling card too, so I guess the teachers are freaking out. We're lucky that morning practice got cancelled, though. I feel like I'm gonna faint if this takes forever. <sighs> Let's begin this school-wide morning assembly. As you all know, a tragic event took place the other day. Thankfully, we have been informed that she has pulled through. But it will take time until she recovers. Everyone here has a bright future ahead. I implore that you rethink the importance of life and... Mr. Kamashita, what's the... I... have been reborn. That is why I will confess everything to you all. Huh? What's wrong with Mr. Kamashita? What's this about? Confess? Did the volleyball team do something? I have repeatedly done things that were unbecoming of a teacher. Verbally abusing students, physically abusing my team, and <sighs> sexually harassing female students. I am the reason why Shiho Suzui tried to kill herself. Sexual harassment? What? Why would he oh, say that himself? Uh, he is the worst. Really? Physical abuse? 
I thought of this school as my own castle. There were even students that I sentenced to expulsion simply because I didn't like them. I will, of course, rescind those. I am truly sorry for putting innocent youths through such horrible acts. I am an arrogant, shallow, and shameful person. No, I'm worse than that. I will take responsibility. I kill myself for it. What? Did he just say that? He would kill himself? Mr. Kamoshida is, uh, not well. Mr. Kamoshida, please died. get off the stage for now. Everyone, return to your classes. I... Don't run, you bastard! Shiho's still alive, even after all the things that made her want to die. You have no right to run from this! You're right. You're absolutely right. I should be punished under the law and atone for my crimes. I did horrible things to Takamaki-san as well. In return for giving Suzui-san a position on the team, I... I tried to force her into having relations. Disgusting. Ugh. For a position on the team? It feels so That's bad horrible. for Takamaki-san. So the rumors weren't true. As of today, I will resign from my position as an instructor and turn myself in. <laughs> Someone please call the police! The police? Is he for real? He's gonna get wow. arrested? This morning's assembly is over! Return to your classes immediately! Isn't this just like what that calling card said? Does this mean the Phantom Thieves thing was for real? Was something done to Kamoshida? Come on, there's no way you could steal someone's heart. But why else would he start saying things like he'll kill himself or turn himself in? Maybe because it almost got leaked? Don't they go easier on you if you turn yourself in? I wonder what happened. Who knows? <laughs> but man, Kamashita turned out to be one sick bastard. Hey, is this for real? He's turning himself in just like that? What's going to happen this to the volleyball no team? Marathi will show up This now? is gonna be a big... Return to your classrooms at once! His heart really did change. Seems like it. But was this really for the best? Hmm. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know. I gotta agree. I ain't so sure either. Huh? What the? Takamaki san, I'm sorry. Huh? We all knew, but we pretended we didn't. Takamaki-san, I had you all wrong. I'm sorry that I spread rumors about you. I didn't know at all. Oh, Kamashita was forcefully pushing himself on you. It must have been so hard for you. I'm sure there's a ton of people who want to apologize to you. We're so sorry. No, it's okay. The same goes for me, too. Besides, that's all in the past now. Hey, you there! Return to class at once! Well, see you later then. I can't apologize enough for what I did to you. I swear I'll make it up to you someday. Looks like Kamoshida ain't the only one that had a change of heart. Man, I'm glad for you. Looks like those weird rumors are gonna go away. My thing doesn't really matter. We made Kamoshida apologize about Shiho. That's more than enough for me. You should hurry and tell her about it then. Yeah. I totally freaked out. He really did have a change of heart. And we were lucky his mind didn't get messed up either. <laughs> this was an A-plus job. Does this mean that they won't have a mental shutdown even if their palace disappears? I see. So we need to persuade the shadow without killing it, and then send it back to its real self. Our targets won't undergo a cognitive collapse if we do that. So we can get him to confess with no bad stuff? 
Hey, that works for me. Do you have to be so loud? Eh, don't worry about it. So, how'd it go? With Shiho, I mean. She's regained consciousness. <gasps> for real? It was only for a little bit, but I got to talk to her. I was able to tell her that Kamoshida admitted to what he did. Shiho, she... She told me she was sorry. Looks like she found out that I was flirting with Kamoshida for her sake. And here I was, wanting to apologize to her. Kamoshida's at fault for all this. I know. Shiho's mom is thinking of transferring her to another school after she recovers. The whole sexual harassment and attempted suicide... People will label her after that. Sounded like Shiho had the same idea, too. Ah, it's gonna get lonely. But I think it's for the best. I'm sure it'll be hard if she stays here. She's alive. You can see her anytime. I need to change, too. That aside, I was surprised you could hold yourself back against Kamoshida's shadow. It wasn't like that. I just wanted Kamoshida to apologize himself. You're so kind, Lady An. No matter how much of a shitbag he was, finishing him off would have left a bad aftertaste, huh? Huh? That's not it. I think revenge is better served if I make him repent. Realizing what he's done, he'll grovel for forgiveness the rest of his life, you know? I just believe there are fates worse than death. Holy shit. Uh, anyways, that's all settled. But, you know, there was one more thing I was wondering about that castle. Why was Kamoshida the only one who had that metaverse thing? It isn't necessarily limited to him. It's something anyone could have if their heart became warped from their desires. Anyone. Wanna check it out? Not right now. We better lay low for a while. People are still gonna be talking about Kamushida. Then again, it's totally impossible for someone to find out what we did at his palace. Yeah, about that, weird rumors about you guys are already going around. Stuff like you got together and threatened Kamushida with something close to physical violence. The hell? People aren't going to easily believe that phantom thieves really exist. Calling cards being treated like it was a prank by someone who knew what Kamoshida was doing. Hmm. Makes sense. We're the ones who did it, and I still don't completely believe it myself. <laughs> let's wait for things to settle down for the time being. Anyways, let's check how much this metal can be sold for. It'd be better if we pawned it off ASAP. Ooh, got a hit! Wait. 30,000 yen? That's all a gold medal's worth? Hey, 30,000 is a pretty decent amount of money. Remember that time in middle school? I lent you some money. There's no way I borrowed 30,000 yen from you. Wouldn't it be around that much with compounded interest? Interest my ass! I'm not saying that I'm taking all of it. I mean, it's your fault for not paying me back all these years. It's just common sense. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I agree on laying low and keeping an eye on the situation. However, you dragged me into this. It would be nonsense not to celebrate a successful mission. I guess we could blow this dirty money on something fun. Discussions among phantom thieves are to take place over luxurious food. How about it? Hey, wait! Ah, uh, I guess it's fine. There's somewhere I want to go then. Where's that? It's a place Shiho and I have been wanting to go for a while. I owe money, so I can't complain. You good with that? Yeah, fine by me. I'll leave it to your discretion as well, Lady On. I'll call and check the prices later then. When should we go? Want to do it soon, like tomorrow? Why don't we go on the last day of the holidays? It'll help energize us when school life starts up again the day after. Then, uh, the fifth, on Children's Day. So, who's going to sell this? Leave that to us. 
We know a store that'll buy anything, don't we? Okay, I'll leave that to you guys. Ah, you're back. Is that gold medal real? When did it get inside his palace? No, that one is a fake. It's just a byproduct of his cognition. The real metal should still be in his possession. This one's fake. What? You're telling me Kamashita's still got the metal? Who cares? What matters is that we changed his heart. And anyway, if we had taken the real thing, that'd be stealing. I don't think he'll be proud of that metal anyway, regardless. <laughs> You'll let go of stuff pretty easy, huh? Wanna forget about my debt? That's different. 500 yen is a lot of money for a middle schooler, you know. Do you even still have that dolphin anyway? Dolphin? Stop digging that up! Back in middle school, we went on a field trip to the aquarium. But Ryuji had to spend all his money on a souvenir, so I lent him some for the train fare. I said I was sorry. That was for my mom. Well, I guess I can call it even after all we've been through. Thank you. Anyways, we don't gotta worry about selling that metal off if it's a fake. End of story. Kamashita will never be proud of that once-in-a-lifetime gold medal ever again. Depending on how you look at it, that punishment might be even worse than death for him. <sighs> Starting tomorrow, you'll have to a lot of time off, huh? Must be nice. For me, it just means more customers and even more work. Hey. The package came in for you. Can't imagine what you bought. Let's see what's inside. Hey, what did you get? It's our rations order. Oh, must be what you ordered off the TV. I think it can go a little bit longer in this episode. Yeah, let's... Hey, hey! Let's do our crossword puzzle. Time for a trip blank week. And that would be golden week. Golden Week is a holiday that typically spans the end of April to the beginning of May and includes a Saturday and Sunday. The golden part of the phrase came from the Japanese broadcasting term golden time, which refers to the most desirable time slot of the day. All right. I see. Nice. Learning so much about Japanese culture from these crossword puzzles. And tonight, and brew some more coffee. Hey! Oh! Colombian Nariño. Let me explain. The high altitude, rainy climate, and soil of the Colombian mountains creates a strong foundation for their high quality coffee. Nariño coffee has a creamy, viscous body that coats the mouth with fruity and nutty flavors. <sighs> Still have a long way to go, but looks like we can rank up with a Sojuro the next time we spend time with him. I'll keep monitoring you, so keep it up. 
One day there'll be a flavor of coffee that only you can produce. You have potential. Keep training. <laughs> well then. Yeah, we do have a big day tomorrow. Okay. Come on. We're going to pawn off that metal today. Hey, you can hear me, right? You don't have plans, do you? Come help me out instead of sleeping your life away. We do owe it to him. We'll just have to wait. Hurry down and help him out. <laughs> Sorry I kind of pressured you into doing this. And now to our next topic. Fall from Grace, the story of a dishonored Olympic medalist. Just recently, a high school coach confessed at an assembly that he had been repeatedly abusing students. Given his prior Olympic achievements, this has caused quite a stir. What caused this habitual offender to suddenly confess these heinous crimes to his entire school? The police are hoping that the upcoming interrogations will bring light to this question. Isn't this... My friends would come back from practice with bruises all the time. It was scary, but I'm relieved that the abuse is finally going to end now. He would touch me and stuff all the time. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that sexual harassment anymore. There were always rumors, sure. Not many people believed them, though. Like, I'm totally shocked they were actually true. At least now I can go to school without worrying. I knew it. This is your school, isn't it? Seems like it. Huh. Things might be getting turbulent at school, but you need to just keep your head down, all right? More importantly, keep those hands moving. I've got some more stuff I need you to do. Yes, boss. Man, the chief really worked us hard. It was on the news. No way the school's gonna be able to play dumb after that. I saw it too. Shiho's name didn't come up, right? Not that I saw. I bet they wanted to keep that part quiet. I'm so glad. It's finally over then. All we gotta do is stuff our faces and put this Kamashita crap behind us. I'm totally looking forward to this celebration party. I'll try not to let you guys down. Yes! All right. We need to go sell the gold medal tomorrow. Even if the chief wants your help, make sure you turn him down, okay? Okay. Gotta take care of business tomorrow, like we told Lady On we would. Make sure you sell that medal. All right. So tonight... Gotta catch up on our studying. Place is clear. Now listen up. What do you want to do? Make sure you close up. Hey, hey! I see you're able to solve these problems rather quickly. I hope you're not just picking the easy ones. Make sure to do the dishes. I know, I know. I, I gotta... I got errands to run right now. <sighs> Don't get cocky with me. Welcome. Am I interrupting something? Not at all. The cause of the runaway train incident in the subway the other day still has not been found. Police are hurrying to solve the matter as it may relate to the rise in psychotic breakdown incidents. Oh, is that the thing everyone's been talking about? Doesn't it make you curious? People who were living normal lives suddenly went mad or deranged out of the blue. 
Not to mention that it's happening one after another. Could they really be coincidental? Hmm. Leaving that aside, what do you have? Hmm. I'll have the house blend, please. Are you a part-timer? I'm surprised this place can afford one. Uh, no. Not exactly. Are you a high school student? Where do you attend? Shujin Academy. Oh, someone I know goes there as well. I've heard that things are rough right now. A teacher named Kamoshida confessed his crimes like he was a completely different person, supposedly. And it happened all of a sudden one day. Can a person's mental state change so easily? Huh. <sighs> Is my drink ready yet? Coming right up. Alright, today's the day we turn in that metal for cash. You know some place that'll buy it off you, right? I have a few ideas. I wonder if this second-hand shop guy can buy it off us. Huh? You want to sell me a gold medal? I know we handle a bunch of junk here, but a medal isn't really the type of thing we sell. I'm sorry, but I can't buy that off you. Maybe you can try somewhere else. Man, I was sure this place would buy it. Oh, yeah, maybe the airsoft shop will buy that off of you. What's the hurry going there? Contour is an out. Today. Let's just take care of this. Wait, we don't have a search warrant yet. Just be patient. I'm sure we'll get one soon enough. And they'd never think about running off down this narrow alley. Those shady characters outside. Huh? You again. What do you want? You think you can, uh... Give me some money for this medal. A gold medal? Why do you have this? You don't buy any fake or stolen goods here, kid. Hey. Hold on a sec. Let me see. Hmm. I'm just not gonna ask where you got this. How's 30,000 yen sound for you, though? Works for me. Three thousand it is then. It's almost time. Here, take this with you. It's a thanks for selling me that metal. But uh, best not to open it. Just bring it with you next time you come back here. Uh, what's in it? It's all fine, trust me. They're here. Munihise Hawaii, yes? There are some matters we'd like to discuss with you today. Go, kid. Do you know why we're here? <laughs> uh, oh no, looking for evidence? You tell me, Mr. Detective. Watch your attitude! Well, you guys gonna search me? Go on, do what you gotta do. What was that? An upstanding citizen is supposed to cooperate with the cops, right? Hey, you sure that lead was legitimate? I could have sworn it was. <laughs> you do hurry it up. I got a business to run here. You bastard. Hey, you! What's in the bag, huh? Show me. This kid's just a regular old customer. You can check the tapes if that'll convince you. They'll show everything that's gone down here today. 
I don't want to be here when the detectives see the footage of me with that gold medal. I should leave. I won't let you get away that easy. Show us what's in the bag. That's none of your business. <laughs> I said show it to me. Hey, you're talking to a kid, remember? Besides, he's not the one we're here to see. <sighs> That's right, Mr. Detective. Maybe next time, try not harassing my customers. See how that goes. See ya. That was shady. What were those detectives doing there? More importantly, aren't you curious about what's in the bag? Maybe... a little bit. Well? Come on, let's open it up! Ah! A real gun?! Wait, I think it's just a model. It's incredible, though. Miles ahead of the one Ryuji had. There's something weird about that place. Hey, I just had a great idea. We should totally buy this gun from him later. Huh? I mean, it's perfect. Something this real looking would work wonders in the metaverse. Anyway, he told you to bring it back the next time you came, right? You should try striking a deal with him when we go to return it. Hmm. Aunt's calling me. Oh, hello, it's me. I saw the news. You know, about Kamoshida. It's getting a lot of coverage. Yeah. How are you doing? Uh, I don't know. The reaction's been bigger than what I was expecting. I guess I'm just... surprised. I don't think we did anything wrong, though. I wonder if we helped those people speak up about it. It's possible. <laughs> That's pretty amazing, huh? I didn't think we'd actually be able to do it. And yet, look at us now! This calls for a celebration. Let's meet in front of Shibuya Station at noon tomorrow. Don't be late! Oh, and did you pawn off that medal? You didn't forget, right? <laughs> I'll tell you later. Huh? Why? Oh, I get it! It's because you sold it for a lot more than we were expecting, isn't it? Sure, yeah, whatever. <laughs> you should be really excited about the place I chose, by the way. I'm sure everyone's gonna love it. Well, see you guys tomorrow! Ah, a restaurant of Lady Anne's choosing. Finally, a decent meal. Hey, what do you think we're gonna be eating? Hmm. Man, I could, I could kill for some sushi right now. Ooh, tuna, sea urchin, and maybe even salmon roe. In any case, I'm surely looking forward to it. <laughs> We're finally having that celebration tomorrow. I can't wait. <laughs> celebration indeed. Quite apropos, since this episode is uh, going live on the eve of Persona's uh, 25th anniversary. <laughs> so anyway, tonight... I'm gonna do some more studying the place to ourselves, so we're all good. Now listen up. What do you want to do? Make sure you close up. Wow! You can answer these difficult problems? You're amazing. <laughs> so good. No wonder Lady Ann chose this place. Of course.
course it's good. This is a famous hotel after all. Oh yeah, I heard that the police are coming to interview some people at school. That's troublesome. Our names are gonna come up for sure. People are spreading all sorts of rumors about us and Kamoshida. But we got them pumped up. I keep hearing stuff like the Phantom Thieves really stole his heart. I think most people don't believe it, but some of them actually seem grateful. Look at this. The Phantom Aficionado website? Well done, Phantom Thieves. Now I can keep going too. Thank you for giving us hope. Pretty cool, huh? I was just desperate to deal with my own problems, but seeing people saying all this feels... strange. Yeah. Hey, what do we do now? You planning on eating, buddy? Well, of course I'm gonna eat, but... <gasps> this place has a time limit! Oh crap! We only got an hour to eat! Just 50 minutes left! Oh, I'm not gonna finish all the beef dishes at this pace! I need to eat my way through the entire dessert menu! Look after our stuff. We'll snag something for you guys, too. Don't worry. Better be good. Oh, man. God melts in my mouth. Seriously? Only meat? Now, where should I start? And she's all about the cake. So happy! <laughs> hey, calories. Shut up! How much do you think one of these costs? I'll never get the chance to do this again! Mmm, the Wilton Hotel Cake Buffet! I'd heard rumors, but I never thought it'd be so amazing! <laughs> and where's our share? I didn't really know what you'd want, so I just grabbed you some beans. Beans? There were some pretty bizarre things there too, so we got you a variety of those. Fried bananas, preserved eggs, and some kind of beans. M more more beans? beans? We put so much on the plate that it got all mixed up. But it should probably still taste good. Ugh, this is just plain grotesque. Let's go. These two just don't know what fine dining means. We'll show them. Oh yeah, we'll show them. That's reassuring. You guys watch our things while we're gone. Wait patiently for our return. Mm. Oh, it's like a meaty explosion in my mouth. Oh, this part's cream cheese! They're not even listening. As I'd expect from the buffet at a top-class hotel, the ingredients and variety of dishes are crazy good. There's a reason it costs 8,000 yen. They have a lot here, but fish should come first. Let's fill our plate with all sorts of fish. Which table do you think they're at? Hmm, let's see here. Ah, here they are. Ooh, look! There's the fish! I'd prefer it raw, but grilled is great too. Have you heard, my dear? The news about that Kamoshida fellow was absolutely dreadful. Oh, right. That teacher at Shujin Academy? Caught doing such indecent acts. Shameful, really. Hold on a sec. And they still haven't managed to solve those horrible psychotic breakdown episodes, have they? Oh, I wish they wouldn't let themselves be distracted by such a tawdry scandal. Perhaps it's a sign of how peaceful this country is. I honestly pity those poor Shujin students, though. It sounds like the Kamashita incident is the talk of the town. Hmm. Shoot! They noticed you! Just grab some food and act natural. On the plus side, we'll get to eat the food later. Oh, how did a child like this end up in here? I certainly hope he didn't bring friends. I prefer my meals to remain hooligan-free. Thank you very much. Come, let us go. What's so bad about kids coming to enjoy a buffet? Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. 
Let's get some more food and listen in. Maybe there are more people we can eavesdrop on at other tables. Alright. Let's get ourselves some rice. Rice is incredible! It's the cornerstone of every great meal! Sorry. I got a bit carried away there. So, the ratings for the news were really that good? It was because it was about that teacher who sexually harassed his student, huh? Was it Kamoshida? It's all about how you frame it. You've got to cater to the idiotic public. Ratings go up when you show them crude, sensational news and make it easy for them to understand. How can he be so insensitive? A student almost killed herself because of that Kamoshida. By the way, do you think these sudden changes of heart might be real? Well, that's... Hmm? Quick, grab some food! Oh, and don't forget the crispy bits. So, because he had a sudden change of heart, he just confessed to all his crimes? <laughs> Who knows? Sorry, but it's time. I have to go. I'll call you again after the meeting. A sudden change of heart, huh? I suppose I can't blame him for seeing it that way. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Next we get meat. Oh, meat! I'm no Ryuji, but a meal is just not the same if you don't have any. I got distracted. When you really look at it, he's just an ex-athlete who overestimated himself. He should have just accepted his lot in life and quietly done his job as a teacher. It's not even an incident we can take seriously. The whole story is pretty ridiculous. We should probably look into it. But we can also just let the low-ranking scrubs handle it. Look into? I guess they're investigating Kamoshida? They don't sound very enthusiastic about it, though. Hmm? Gah! Grab some food! Ah, get the part that's not too fatty! gonna be arriving soon. We don't want to keep him waiting, so we better get going too. What is he going to discuss with the higher-ups? Well, I'm sure it's more important than lunch. They were dressed quite well, but they still looked pretty shady to me. Hmm. I wonder how the other people here are reacting to the news. Let's get some more food and listen in. Last but not least, the dessert. Up close, it looks even bigger and more delicious. This giant sweet... I got distracted. News travels quick. It's already all over the internet. You know, the story about how Kamoshida got his ass kicked by some world-reforming heroes. It doesn't sound like a serious story to me. Some of the details are pretty far-fetched. Don't worry about it. We just have to do what they tell us to do. It's all rumors made up by school kids anyway. If it's gripping news, who cares if it's not true? So they don't believe themselves. But they're making up stories to make the Phantom Thieves seem real. And they're doing this in front of the actual Phantom Thieves. Hmm? Well, act fast and get some food! And make sure it's got a lot of whipped cream! What's wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. I thought some weird kid was looking at us, that's all. Why don't we go? It's almost time for the meeting. Well, that was rude. Did you hear him? He said you were weird. Don't think there's anyone else we can listen in on. But it's shocking. So many of the adults here don't seem like nice people. Now, according to what we heard, it seems most adults aren't very interested in the news about Kamoshida. Well, now that we've got a nice variety of food on our plates, let's head back to the others. brought a ton back. What do you think about coming up against such ritzy food? Well, I just want to eat. Preferably not all beans, Ryuji. I was thinking that too, but take a bite. Using better ingredients makes stuff taste way different. Look at you, acting like you have a refined palate all of a sudden. Don't you think you're eating too much, Mona? Mm. There's no... knowing when we'll get to come here again. Sure, but you guys brought back loads of food. It'd be a shame to let it all go to waste. 
Why don't you help them out, Ryuji? Well, we should both help. Oh, me? I'm way too stuffed. I couldn't possibly help. Yeah, stuffing your face with cake. Whatever, let's deal with this ourselves. Hmm. <sighs> it feels like no matter how much we eat, the amount of food we have stays the same. There's still more? Don't give up. Let's keep at it. We... we did it. My belt feels multiple sizes too small. Oh yeah. This is a victory... for all of us. Ugh, that was tough. We won... because we did it... together. Good job, you guys! How about one last dish to cleanse your palates? I recommend the seasonal tart. The grapefruit has both alluring sweetness and a tangy sourness. Uh, stop. I don't want to hear about sour stuff. Uh, this isn't good. I gotta go to the bathroom. Well, me too. Please carry me gently. My, look at that table. Come now, pay them no attention. I'm sure they must not normally have the chance to eat such exquisite food. I can only imagine what their parents must be like. What was that? We don't got time for that. Come on, let's go! Ugh, I'm stuffed. I totally panicked when I saw the closed for cleaning sign at the bathrooms. You were talking big about eating until you puked, but you really did puke. Are you some kind of moron? Hey, same goes for you! What floor was that restaurant on? We came up to get here, so it has to be on a lower floor, right? <clears throat> what the... There's still no update on the case. Uh, not yet. Excuse me, but why are you so involved? It's not something you should be concerned with. I don't care about your opinion, you incompetent buffoon. When I say pick up the pace, you do it! Hey, you're cutting in line! What do you want? We were here first. We're in a hurry. Oh, I'm sorry. So you can butt in front of other people if you're in a hurry? It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? What? Sir, we don't have time for this. I know. Don't bother with them. That voice just now. <laughs> the hell was with that bossy guy? Shouldn't we head back down? Yeah, but... That dick really pissed me off. He wasn't even hiding the fact that he looks down on everyone. Don't lose your temper over this. I just can't forgive shitty adults like that. That man's voice. It sounded almost like the one from back then. What's wrong? Huh? Oh, uh, uh, nothing. It's nothing to worry about. That's just gonna make me worry more, you know. I bet it's because he rarely eats well. I'm always stuck with canned cat food, too. Yeah, that sir bullshit makes me sick. Damn it! What took you so long? Why are you all pissy? Sorry. I had a run-in with some woman a second ago. She bumped into me, but then said it was all my fault when she dropped her plate. <sighs> Sounds like a real bitch. Yeah. Thanks, though. But... The restaurant workers all looked at me with this disapproving expression. 
I wonder if we're out of place here. Hmm. It always feels like this. Hey, Morgana. What is it? Anyone could have a palace, yeah? Anyone with a strong, distorted desire. Same for them having a change of heart if their treasure gets stolen? That would be the case. Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? We had trouble earlier too. These selfish shitheads who just look down on everyone else. I was just wondering if we'd be able to change those kinds of people too. Huh? You mean, you want to continue as the Phantom Thieves? I've been thinking. We put a lot of work into changing Kamoshida's heart, but nobody believes in the Phantom Thieves. Plus, those guys who had no other choice but to just deal with it are thanking us. Us, of all people! Yeah. Well, what do you think, Gon? I... I agree. If we ignore people who are in trouble, I'd go back to being the same as I was before. Well, that's true. You're under my tutelage. There's nothing we can't accomplish as Phantom Thieves. Shouldn't we be able to help him out? I didn't even think of such a possibility. But it's true that with this power, we may be able to help people. But... that means we'll have to fight shadows again, doesn't it? Indeed. That can't be avoided. Eh, I'm sure we'll manage. <laughs> right? If you guys are up for it... Even if you guys are still just fledglings, this means we're an actual organization now. Fledglings? <laughs> That's actually pretty fitting for us. All right, it's settled. We're gonna catch all these shitty adults by surprise and make ourselves known to the world. Are you okay being our leader? Yeah, of course. No objections here? I can't handle all that responsibility stuff. Where's my say in this? But Lady Ahn made the recommendation, so I'll allow it. Well, should we decide on a name for our group? Yeah, I just went with Phantom Thieves of Hearts last time, but don't you think a real name would be cooler? Phantom Thieves sounds cool enough as is. Ooh, I got it. I want it to be something both cute and luxurious sounding. Let me see. <gasps> How about the diamonds? <laughs> I'm getting the real Little League baseball feel from it. Well then, here's my suggestion. How about... Tilefish Poilet! Tile... uh... what? That's what I ate earlier. It's commemorative, no? Hell no, you idiot! Uh, you decide for us. <sighs> Your team name may be seen by others when using network services. Be cautious not to enter any personal information. Furthermore, please do not enter a name that could be considered offensive. Alright, rookie we going with that if that's okay with you guys well now that the name's set who's our next target there are tons of rotten adults and all why not 
not just stick to targeting big names. You mean like a celebrity? Yeah, something along those lines. If we go after some bigwig, it's gotta get on the news, right? Don't you think more people would believe in us if we did that? That's not a bad idea. For you, Ryuji. True. If we become better known, we might be able to give courage to a lot more people. I don't really like the idea of just picking someone out of the blue, though. Let's narrow it down to someone we can all agree on, then. Hmm. So we need a big wig we decide on unanimously. I like that unanimous decision part. It's like we're making some kind of pact. Now then, this is the official formation of the Phantom Thieves Organization. Oh no! Our time for the buffet ran out. I guess we'll just have to talk more tomorrow. Another world in which people's distorted cognitions take shape? Stealing treasure to change hearts? And on top of that, a talking cat told you all this. Believe what you will. Honestly speaking, that all sounds absurd. It's hard to believe that this is even worth listening to. Still, it can't be considered nonsense when parts of it align with Kamoshida's confession. The same goes for the testimonies of the officers who arrested you. But so be it. At any rate, you mentioned something more important. These two other accomplices, besides this talking cat thing that appeared in your story. From what you've been telling me, they're students at the same school, aren't they? Perhaps? Perhaps? Don't take me for a fool. Very well, I'll leave it at that. Let's continue on. The questioning's not over anyway. If you are making this up, the cracks in your story will prove it. The next to receive a calling card was this individual. A master of Japanese arts. Ichiryusai Madarame. It's even more incomprehensible than Kamoshida as to why this man was targeted. Where did you come to know him? And how did you learn of his crimes when you weren't a victim of them? Start by telling me what you all schemed. We spent all our money on the buffet, but we officially established the Phantom Thieves, so it was totally worth it. The Phantom Thieves, huh? I'm liking the sound of that. I hope we can really help people. I'm curious about that Phantom Aficionado website, too. I wonder who made it. No clue. More importantly, you see the survey on there? I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, there was this approval rating too, but it was only at like 6%. Well, it's better than nothing. I guess it's not so bad if you put it that way. But don't you just want to get it higher than that? I bet it'll go up tons if we keep taking down big targets. It's pretty damn exciting if you try and think about it like that. You know, you're actually right. Well then, let's keep working hard from this point on. Thieves' Den. The Thieves' Den has been unlocked. You can access the Thieves' Den from the triangle menu or from the title screen. At the Thieves' Den, you will be able to do various activities such as view art, listen to music, or play card games. You may unlock more with story progression. So stop by now and then. We have an extra text message. Oh yeah, let me send the celebratory pick I took for today. Celebrating the founding of the Phantom Thieves and celebrating us crashing that classy buffet. <laughs> you can cool it with all the celebrating any time now. Wait. You took that while I was eating? Why didn't you tell me? Uh, I did. You 
just never stopped eating. Anyways, this is our start as the Phantom Thieves. We're gonna take the world by storm. All the shitty adults in the world better watch out for us. <laughs> and with that, we have officially established the Phantom Thieves. So next time, we're gonna try and find our next target. So until then, stay safe, have a good day, and thanks for watching. And happy 25th anniversary! <laughs>